But anyway, speaking of schmoes. Before, before we move on, did you uh, hear the audio of The Rock on Pat McAfee's show? I did not. Would you like to hear it? Did you hear what they talked about? I did not. They talked about what originally was going to be WrestleMania uh, in 2022, I believe. But let's uh, go to this audio. It's The Rock on the Pat McAfee oh, show. Oh, 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 okay. Now I know what you're talking about. I didn't hear it. No, but I know what you're talking about now. Go ahead. Uh, it's a few minutes, but let me see. I don't know where it starts here. That surgery, rehab, that's months and months, right? This life? was, I did triple hernia surgery, emergency hernia surgery. Stop, what's triple hernia? Holy shit, what is that? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> wow, what does that well, mean? <laughs> there's, he might tell us here in a second, but, you know, there's only, there's a different kinds of hernias. You can have an abdominal and a lower abdominal, and it can be in your midsection, or it can be down there in your crotchal area, but a triple sounds like two crotches and a fucking stomach. I don't know about that. The tearing the quad off my pelvis, I had to go shoot Hercules. So oh, oh. I actually shot that movie Hurt. I didn't do surgery. So everything kind of just scar tissued up. And <laughs> weapon. <laughs> You're a psychic. Of all the guys looking at me crazy. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's got no, he, his knees are, he can't even walk this right? guy. I mean, it's a whole thing. Let me fast forward past him and his friends here. I, I, that's the one thing that sucks about so many pot. It's like, here's me and all my goofy friends that are sit here and agree with me. <laughs> sucks hold on let me uh, yeah i wish i had one goofy friend that would sit here and agree with me today come on the rock is lame hold on let's go back to this but to get back as much as like all the wwe fans have been looking for or? honestly brother it's not it's not the injury that i'm concerned about because that's just part of it it's just part of the game you sign up for it you get hurt we all get hurt that's just the way it is um it's not even the schedule because i could control the schedule to a large degree it always comes that me going back to uh wwe and wrestling a match always comes down to the reason why and what can we create and money and lots and lots of money that's never been done before for the fans so that's that was that's the idea okay which is perfect let's lead into last year in la <laughs> yeah so far uh -huh. roman obviously on an incredible run so, Jim, they're talking about WrestleMania 39, SoFi Stadium. This was the one that ended up being Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. Run. Yeah. The bloodline, huh? Yeah. They're not talking about my bloodline. No. They're not talking about Connor's <laughs> nope, bloodline. No. Definitely not. The ties, definitely not. Nope. Mm. Tones, no. AJ Hawk's bloodline runs real. You see, this is why these shows <laughs> suck, but it's just all these other people that have to Can be they included. get to the point of answering the question? Or they, asking they're not talking it. about They were talking about... Uh, yeah. Your bloodline. So that story was a big one. The Rock and Roman, SoFi, L.A. How close? Did that ever, and was that close? All right. So The, the Rock uh, headlining WrestleMania with Roman Reigns, SoFi Stadium. Uh, that was locked. What? Oh. We were. No <laughs> way. We, we were doing it. We, no, we, we, we were doing it. We were doing it. But let me just tell you. So uh, about in, in the beginning of 2022, um, Nick Khan, who we know, shout friend out to of ours, Nick, shout out very to good friend, Dog. long time for years. Dog. Uh, he's the man, he was very instrumental in bringing Vince and I together. Let's stop it for a second. He said the beginning of 2022, not 2023. 2023 is the year of this WrestleMania that we're talking about. Yeah, so the beginning of 20, that makes sense because you'd want a year to know you were going to have that. Well, remember, we even said it. I mean, I said it saying, I hope they don't end the bloodline with The Rock being the one to defeat Roman Reigns. It seemed like for a long time, that's where things were leading. The idea of who can stop the leader of the bloodline, The Rock, who's technically a member of the bloodline. Yeah. Actually, it's completely different blood. It's a different family. But it's interesting, the timeline now, because Cody was the beginning of 2023. But let's go back to this. We all flew to L.A. We met. We sat. This is the beginning in 2022. And we broke out the <laughs> Terramana, we toasted life, yeah, toasted yeah. the business we love, and about an hour later, we started talking about the potential of what this match could be between yeah. myself and Roman Reigns headlining WrestleMania at SoFi. And we shook hands and we hugged right there, all three of us at the table, and said, let's do this. And so the North Star, though, so then we had a year mm -hmm. to yeah. really think about this. Yeah. So the North Star thought was, okay, let's not do something good, let's not do something great, let's do something unprecedented. And it was in what can we create for the fans that has never been done before. A match, great. Roman, incredible athlete, he's going to be on Mount Rushmore. Super handsome. Right? Super handsome, good.
This is so interesting to think about because, you know, one of the big complaints about Vince, and it's true, is that especially in later years, it seemed like everything was kind of short-term, book on the fly, things change. Vince rewrote right. the show. When you think about Hogan versus Savage, that was over a year of buildup. They knew what that main event for WrestleMania five was going to be when they went to WrestleMania four. It's interesting hearing that Vince is still doing that here with the Rock. Well, and, and remember Rock and Cena. Yeah, that's true. They had the deal for both before they announced the first. Good dude, my cousin, family, it, amazing. We're, we can have the match, but the bigger thought was, what can we do for the fans in this business that we love that will, uh, where, where WrestleMania isn't the end of something, it's actually the beginning of something bigger. Got it. So. So what happened? <laughs> so yeah. we got really, really close, but we couldn't actually yeah. nail what yeah. that thing was. So we decided to put our pencils down, and then we agreed, hey, listen, there's, uh, there is a merger coming up. Eventually that will happen. There's WrestleMania in Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. 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 There's a merger coming up. They'll pay me more than I'm worth. And then there's WrestleMania in Philadelphia. I guess WrestleMania 40. Actually, if you're going to have The Rock come back, right? WrestleMania 40, right. that's a big one. Well, here's uh, just trying to crawl into people's heads without knowing what the conversation was and just what I'm hearing here. I'm wondering if they didn't realize that they shouldn't beat Roman at that point well before it got to the point where they would have to pull the trigger on the thing and the rock now is is saying that we want something unprecedented something's never been done before or whatever to build up the potential of a future match that they may or may not have agreed to in Philadelphia because they just put it off for a year because it wasn't the time they didn't do it with Cody either, and the bloodline has continued, and the blah, blah, blah. So he couldn't... It, Rock would not come out and say, well, it wasn't a time to beat him, and nobody wants to see me lose, so we put it off for a year. So he's kind of saying, we couldn't come up with the thing, but there's always next time. And we want to do a, the biggest thing ever done when we do it. So he's still promoting the concept, the idea of a match, and he doesn't have to say, well, yeah, just, you know, he's giving away the finish or whatever if he says something to that effect. You see where I'm going with this? I do. And the other interesting thing is thinking about the whole Cody angle of it. Cody didn't win the belt. Everyone thought he would. If you think The Rock could possibly come back the next year for WrestleMania, why? I guess that is a reason not to take the belt off Roman. Because the whole idea of The Rock, he has to be the one to stop Roman if they're going to do that. But here's the thing, The Rock ain't going to win the belt. Well, that's the other thing I was going to say. If Roman's going to beat The Rock, and if Roman's going to be around, and that's questionable, he should, then it makes the person who beats Roman bigger. But if it goes the other way around, it doesn't really help anyone. Well, I don't, I don't think you want to beat The Rock. I mean, there, it, it, Conventional wisdom in the wrestling business would be that the the you know the past star puts the future star over, but that was when guys were still kind of in the business instead of a guy the biggest star ever in the business coming back for after five years or six years or seven years, however long it's been since he's had a match to fucking do this big main event at WrestleMania and the heel goes over. I so I think it it has to be something about family the bloodline the 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 family uh, settling it amongst themselves with a chosen you know a representative the rock instead of over the title because the rock ain't going to come back and fucking lose it that would be insane well that's the other thing too just based on his age and the way he trains which is very different than training to be an active wrestler and the previous injuries he had coming out of his match, you have to think more than likely he will come out of this match needing having some sort of injury. 
just based on all those intangibles. Well, don't don't burn the bread on him already as Bobby Eaton was. Because he's going to work a physical match. I don't think well, The Rock would what, go out there and dog this? it. Do you, th do you think that Cody finally gets his match against Roman at fucking the Royal Rumble and The Rock is there to police the maybe even as a surprise I, i'm saying don't kayfabe the biggest star in the world but maybe he just comes out to stop the blo evil bloodline members from doing something cody wins the title but now it's roman and rock one-on-one -on -one to oh, restore the dynasty that's interesting so you don't think again we're just fantasy but you don't think the rock needs to be the first one to beat roman in years and you not think? if he's in not if he's involved because it's still going to fucking draw. But Rock can't win the title, so it can't be for the title unless they're going to beat The Rock, which okay. I think is fucking crazy. So how's this for WrestleMania? Main event, Rock versus Roman Reigns. Bloodline dissolves if Roman loses, whatever you want to do. Second main event, world champion Cody Rhodes versus the winner of the Royal Rumble, CM Punk. Oh, boy. Then, then you got something then, that doesn't make you feel like you're losing something because Roman's not involved. Boom. Then you've got a double you got a double main event, one night for each night of WrestleMania. All right. Well, Nick Khan, if you and Ari Emanuel are listening, I'm looking for work. If you guys know Colin Thompson. We're not looking for work. We're just just send us a check for what we just did for you. <laughs> well, let's go back to SmackDown.